In this video, we're going to be talking about how to get an exemption form for your window tint. Hey guys, Patrick here with Window Tinting Business and welcome to another video. If you're interested in window tinting as a side job to improve your current skills or as a full on career, start right now by subscribing to the channel, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified whenever I go live or update new videos. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. So an option that you have if you're looking to avoid tickets or looking to get darker tint is that you can get an exemption for your window tint. Now the process is pretty much the same, but it could vary from state to state. Some states have the form available online and some states you have to dig in a little deep. But today I'm gonna to show you how, it, how it's done in my state and then you can apply it to yours. For the next part, we're gonna go ahead and hop on my computer. I'm gonna show you how to get the form, how to fill it out and basically tell you where to send it to. So let's go ahead. All right guys, as you can see now I am on my desktop here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull up a browser and Google is just the best way to go here. And I'm going to put exemption window tinting and Florida because that's where I'm at. Okay. And you want to be looking for a PDF file. So this is the one for this state here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and pull it up here. And this is, in fact, the, the form that I'm looking for. Um, and this one is application for sunscreening medical exemption. Uh, this is for the state of Florida. Um, and it does have an address as to where you're gonna be going off and sending off the finalized uh, form or application. Now it might be different in different states. I know in the state of Florida and other ones that the PDF file will just kind of pop up here. Um, in, in other states it may not, so you might have to do a little bit of digging, but the first step is to find this form for your particular state. Um, and if the PDF for, file does pop up, uh, you are able to go ahead and uh, adjust these little sections here so you can go ahead and pre-fill it out and then go ahead and print it out. So fill out all the information pertinent to you. Um, and then down here, you do have to qualify to be able to have an exemption for window tinting. And some of this stuff is pretty serious, lupus and, and other diseases and other autoimmune diseases that are, are pretty severe that most of us would not qualify for. One section that most people do fall into is a section called photophobia. And it's basically a, a when you're when you feel discomfort or you feel pain or you're virtually blinded by the sun, that would that would constitute you would be able to qualify for that. So that's what most people fill out if they don't have any of these other serious diseases. And then you're going to go ahead and fill it out. And then you're going to have to go get it sent to your doctor. Either you're probably going to have to go to your doctor and see your doctor. And they're going to have to sign off on this. But once you have it signed off, um, what, at that point, you're going to mail it in. I, like I said, here's an address up here at the top. Um, so you'd be able to, this is where I would send it, but you'd want to find out where you'd send the form to. And then they'd probably have some fees for filing and processing and things of that nature. But after that, then you should be able to get your exemption for window tint in, um, probably in, in a week or two, really just depends on the turnaround time and the state that you're in. And at that point you can, uh, you can get darker tint legally. So, um, so that is basically the, the process in which you'd be able to do it. And, um, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and go back on camera and out of the, out of the computer and, uh, we'll go ahead and close out. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. As always, I hope it was helpful and informative. If so, go ahead and give the video a good thumbs up. Um, again, if you're not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.